Hello there, lovely people. It's Alex from Nintendo Life here. And if you've seen the previous video, <laughs> yes, smug as I am, I've actually played Animal Crossing New Horizons at a preview event at Nintendo UK. If you've seen that video, we've been through this. However, I couldn't really cover everything that I experienced in the game because, well, it was kind of sort of disjointed and things like that. And I took capture of everything I played though. So I thought, you know what? Let's spool through it all, even though I can't show you because I've already used up the allowance, which was um, fun, but I should be able to answer some questions. So I asked you lots of questions and you gave me some questions to which I'm going to answer or at least do my blooming best. Tiny little disclaimer before we get into it. There is some information under embargo. So there's some things that I am not allowed to talk about. So I have avoided those questions and only included the ones that I can answer or reasonably speculate over, but I, I will give as, as firm an answer as I can, and most of them I think I can give a chuffing good one. Nice. But anyway, that's more than enough waffling, let's dive right into things. So let's start off with this one. For the last time, is the whole degrading grass business over? I mean the muddying of the floor and for running atop it. Well, one, I don't like your attitude. As far as I'm aware, this is the first time you've asked me. I have looked through the footage that I've got and I cannot see a single indication that there has been any, any trampling whatsoever, any desire paths, if you like. So as far as I'm aware, those are gone. And it's a good thing because it was kind of a bit sort of rubbish. You'd see all the areas you'd run the most and there's some interest in that. But at the same time, if it makes you, if it makes your town look rubbish, Eh, not worth it, is it? So, um, as far as I can tell, it's gone. Do the flowers still die or get damaged when you run through them? Yes, they do. It seemed to take a little bit longer. I don't know whether I was just, you know, having good luck or something, but I did actually try that because that was something I was curious about. And yeah, you can still damage them and uh, destroy them. Although I believe it just removes the head of the flowers. Don't quote me on this bit because... <laughs> Please don't quote me on this bit. But I seem to remember it was the heads of the flowers that kind of just went poof but the stems remained. Again, don't quote me on that, but yes. Are there paintings and sculptures in the museum confirmed? I can confirm that I have seen neither. There is a bit of a staircase as um, I may be able to, sh yes, I can show with a bit of footage because I have already used it. Oh, so that's in the same allowance. There's these sort of staircases that go up and they lead to nowhere at the moment. So I imagine there's going to be some sort of development there, but at the same time, I can't confirm it. But you know, even so, those staircases are there. I would be surprised if they led nowhere. Let's leave it at that. Do you think we'll be able to have double tier cliffs and to that extent double tier waterfalls? This is an interesting one, I'm assuming, because obviously, you know, there are multiple levels. You can have plain ground, one cliff, and then another cliff on top, but whether they can actually be straight up two levels high, that is something I've been wondering myself as well, and maybe something I should have looked into more. Honestly, though, I did notice that there were certain limitations like, oh, you can't, you know, you can't knock the cliff down here because there's a tree in the way, which is fair enough. You don't want to be accidentally getting rid of trees. Um, so I imagine, considering we haven't seen it at all, I'm suspecting you won't be able to do that. However, I can't confirm one way or the other, but as an educated, sort of reasonable, hands-on kind of guess, I would say that sadly we can't, which is a bit of a bummer. During your first week of starting the game, did you ever find yourself running out of stuff to do? Now this is an awkward one because I've only played for like an hour. But I can say from what I've played, there seems to be a lot more in terms of, for lack of a better term, it makes it sound bad, but busy work. Things like gathering resources and stuff like that. There is a lot more of that to do. So I would imagine, you know, depending, it, it, I mean, obviously it's going to come down to the individual at the end of the day, whether you think there's going to be plenty to do or not. But I would say there is definitely more to do than previous Animal Crossing titles, certainly in what I played. How essential is Switch Online to general everyday gameplay? I've got no interest in playing with people online other than in my household on the same system. So really the only thing I see is the QR scanner thing. That's an interesting point. I don't know whether you need uh, Nintendo Switch Online for the QR scanning uh, aspect. I really don't know because it's not even out yet um, and that wasn't part of the preview that I saw. But um, yeah, aside from that, if unless you were really dead set on the QR scanning thing, you don't need it at all, honestly, because 
it's just it's just visiting other towns as far as I know. It's just visiting other towns. All the updates and everything, unless there's something really horrible going on at Nintendo, you won't need Nintendo Switch Online for that. How many times can you use the flimsy tools before they break? This is a good question and one that I cannot directly answer. However, I was seeing a lot of other people asking, do flimsy tools break? Yes, flimsy tools do break. Um, I know this from looking, uh, not from my own uh, session actually, but just um, from talking to other people who've done other sessions. Yes, I can confirm that flimsy tools do break. And I've also seen um, other tools, you know, sort of like the standard tools from previous games in, um, in my inventory and stuff like that from my time playing. So flimsy tools, you know, have to be worse in some way, so they break. Um, whether the other ones, the standard ones break as well, I don't know. Is the game 30 or 60 frames a second? Some are saying 60, but I don't see it. Thanks. Thumbs up. The game runs exclusively at 30 frames a second. There is no 60 anywhere in any sh any <laughs> way, shape or form. You may well have seen certain gameplay um, sort of clips and everything uploaded at 60 frames a second as included. That's just simply sort of just due to the fact that if you upload at 60 frames a second, you get a higher bit rate so the the footage looks better that's the only reason but the game itself runs at 30 frames a second but it does seem to be pretty solid i haven't done any actual analysis myself but i certainly didn't notice any you know really obvious or egregious dips it seems to be running really rather lovelily is there an observatory can we make constellations this kind of ties into the previous one we know that celeste is in the game but in terms of whether there's an observatory we know there are those stairs going up but we don't know whether they whether they, you know, actually even go anywhere. I mean, they don't at the moment, but I, again, would be very surprised if they didn't. Um, in terms of constellations, don't know. I haven't even seen the game at night yet, apart from, like, direct footage. So I don't even know if there are any constellations. I'd be surprised if there weren't. And this is when somebody appears in the comments and says, Alex, we saw them in the direct and I look like a fool. How much wood can you take from a tree without cutting it down? I don't want to lose all my trees. Well, um, I did do quite a lot of chopping. I was using a flimsy axe and I, I, I did try chopping again and again and again. And it was only ever three that came out, three wood. You know, no more came out, no less. It was only ever three wood. And I think after looking back through the footage, there's wood, soft wood, and I just want to say hard wood. I'm not absolutely certain about that. Um, but it makes the most sense. I was surprised that the flimsy axe didn't seem to even want to fell the tree because I hit it a good number of times and, and it didn't it didn't fall. So I don't know. I mean, I'm assuming we will still be able to chop trees down, um, or at least I hope so, because uh, I like the stumps. They're kind of fun. It may well be that the flimsy axe is not able to do it, um, but I, I suppose, you know, if you wanted to harvest wood from trees, you could just use the flimsy axe and, you know, it, it, you'd never chop it down. I don't want to say never, but it did seem like it wasn't doing anything, you know? It was always kind of the one, two, three fell, and that really wasn't happening with the flimsy axe. So, yeah. How is autosave going to work in the game? Basically, it saves in the background, just like any other autosave. Um, from what I can tell from the footage, you know, you get something appear in this corner that sort of goes wiggly wiggly woo um, as you, you know, the old saving icon. Um, it just seems to happen every so often, to be honest. Um, yeah, it works like any other autosave feature. Can you have Isabel move in as a regular resident or is she stuck behind the desk? I, I, I don't know this for a fact, but given that she plays an integral role in the actual running, I, I'm guess she's she's gonna be behind the desk. If you could have her as a normal villager, I would be phenomenally surprised. Not sure if it has been confirmed yet. Can you use the amiibo cards? Yes, you can. You can use amiibo cards. That's been uh, uh, you know sort of announced previously and confirmed and everything. You some people may be wondering why I'm including this question and a couple of others. Well, this video is for everyone, and uh, there are some people who maybe aren't watching every direct and everything. So this is for you as well. This is for everyone. Hi, Arex. Can I use the new Terraform feature to dig out a moat around Tom Hook's house so that he can never get out? We've already seen that you can actually leap over one square of water with no tool or anything like that in the, in the direct. So I, I honestly wouldn't be surprised if you were able to just create a moat around things. Because at the end of the day, the island is kind of segregated in ways as it is, you know. There are rivers running through and, you, you know, there's structures everywhere, even surrounded by essentially moats. So I would, I would honestly say, I don't know whether you're being enormously serious with this, uh, Miss, Miss, Mr. Arix, but I would say with quiet, reserved confidence, 
Yes, you can. But don't quote me on it. Is it possible to swim again? I don't know why this hasn't been asked yet. This is the weird thing, because e even in the second file, th there was nothing. There was, even in the museum, there was no sort of indication of any kind of diving or using the wetsuits or anything. And it seems kind of... Seems kind of obvious, you know, you know, you're on an island, you would go in the water, you'd swim in the ocean and all that good stuff, but in the original, in New Leaf, sorry, th there were floats around, and as far as I could see, there, there were no floats or, or buoys or buoys, whatever you want to call them, to indicate where you can't go beyond. So, uh, and uh, you, you might sort of say, well, maybe it's just out of camera, but we can see out the back as well, we can see the very rear of the island and out to sea and everything, and it doesn't seem like there's anything there. It's possible that maybe you can get a wetsuit later on and then the, then the boys appear. I don't know, but I would, I, at the moment, my feeling from everything I've seen is that it's not present, which seems a bit odd, but eh, that's, that's that. How many hours do you see yourself putting into the game? Sorry if it's a hard question to answer. It is kind of a hard question to answer, but I am so gagging to just, I'm so gagging to go back into it and after seeing roughly just by like looking at the letters and everything vaguely how long it takes, you know, to get from like the first save file that I played to the second save file, you know, it's going to be days and days and days, but obviously a lot of that is done in the background if you like, because it's done in real time, but I can see myself putting really quite a lot into this game, if anything, just, you know, previous Animal Crossing games. I've put hundreds and hundreds of hours in, so I would say potentially hundreds and hundreds of hours. Can you play two player with one set of Joy-Cons? Yes, you can. I did it. I played it there and, you know, it was just, um, I, well, in fact, I think actually in the end it ended up being I was using a Joy-Con on its side and the other chap was using a Pro Controller just because it didn't want to behave, I think, because the Pro Controller was already connected and it was wired. But even so, yeah, to, you know, just individual Joy-Con, they work fine and, you know, it's you don't get, it's not It's not as easy to play with a single Joy-Con, but it's perfectly fa uh, functional, perfectly practical. Yes, you can. You don't need to buy any additional controllers if you've got an OG Switch. It, <laughs> very similarly, uh, is it true the game will have local multiplayer? Can the second player do everything you can? Yes, there is local multiplayer. I've played it myself. But the, um, the, the, the second part of the question, can the second player do everything you can? Within reason, when I was playing, I was surprised to see that... The second player couldn't pick anything up. If you pressed Y to pick something up, you just you just do some sort of some sort of emote. Some I can't remember what they called it in the game, but you would uh, do the sort of the the emote, which was really odd. I don't know why they've done that because I was fairly certain in a direct they said anything and uh, a player picks up will be put in the recycling box. But I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's a feature that you can enable or disable. I don't know. But apart from that, it seems that they can do much anything and you can also change who is kind of like the leader as they call it in game um just by i think it was i think it was like clicking the stick in and shaking the joy con or maybe just shaking the joy con i can't remember but yeah you can swap over so if you want player two to be able to be the leader you can do that very simply on the fly do your tools count towards how many items you can hold or is it by having the tool ring that they go into their own space that annoyed me in new leaf having lots having tools take up space in inventory nearly got through that without stumbling tools do indeed take up space in your inventory but as you can see your inventory is actually bigger than it was in previous games you don't have access to the letters at any time so you can't store there was a little trick where you could store things on letters as presents if you really wanted to and that was kind of useful at times if you just needed to store a lot of stuff but also a lot more items stack now i noticed which is really interesting um things like resources and stuff like that also big thing you know when you hit the money rock i noticed you pick you pick up the money it just goes into your pocket straight away it doesn't go in the form of like a little icon and then you got to drag it in so that's good can you use terraform to create water so to create a cond when there's no water there yes you can you can do waterscaping i think they call it in the game you've got landscaping and waterscaping and you can indeed waterscape and i believe you can do ponds like kind of lakes and uh, rivers waterfalls even it's all good can you have facial hair i want my crossling looking authentic now, I didn't actually know the answer to this from when I played, but I have looked online, and yes, indeed, it counts as an accessory, kind of like a pair of glasses or something. You can have facial hair, but it also looks like you can have facial hair and a pair of glasses, um, which is which is great news for me because 
And in case anyone's wondering, just to clear it up, yeah, I know the character I was playing as, well, the two characters, look nothing like I do. They were just the characters I was given. Boom. And there you have it. That is, by my count, 21 questions, maybe? I could be miscounting them on the phone, but yeah, 21 questions answered. I hope I answered uh, at least some of your questions. I know I, I will not have been able to answer all of them, because there are way too many questions, and there are questions I still have as well. We're just going to have to be patient on that front, but I hope you found this at least marginally informative, if not slightly entertaining. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, then why don't you quiz that subscribe button about something and hope it gives you the answer you want and doesn't just ignore it because it can't talk about it. And be sure to check out NintendoLife.com for all sorts of lovely Nintendo-related content. Thank you again for watching. Bye-bye. Oh,